Hi everyone, I'm Greg, Bioinformatter on Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, Moxfield, and Blue Sky, and um, Bioinformatter underscore actual on threads and Instagram. This is my second uh, and last <laughs> um, collector booster box for the uh, special holiday edition um, MTG Universes Beyond Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle Earth set. So, um, my, my shipment of this stuff arrived today. Um, there are, um, scene boxes, uh, there, uh, there's four different scene card sets, um, which I think have some packs in them too. So we'll, we'll see. Yeah, I haven't opened those yet. Um, and there are also some volume two jumpstart. Um, I have no idea how much holiday stuff is involved with that, or if it's just coincidentally at the same time um so we'll see how that turns out uh but i i did open the first uh, my first box of this and so kind of got used to what i was going to see and there's a bunch of scroll um showcase cards that's kind of like the baseline so like even down to the to, to the lowly you know commons um they're in that format this this new format so they'll be distinct from the versions that you got from the main release of the set um, and then there is, you know, along with that new scroll format, um, for some of the uncommons and, and rares mythics, you'll get some versions of, uh, showcase and things from that, that you've seen before, but then they may be in surge foil instead. Um, and then there's a variety of, uh, of extended art and borderless cards, um, in here. And it's not clear to me, but I think that some of them may be from the um, the scene card sets. Some of them are commander cards. Um, and um, there are also poster cards, uh, which are the more rare of the cards in the set. Um, so I got two out of my first box. I don't know if that's like, you know, pretty much you'll always get two or whether it was just lucky that I got two in that box. So we'll see what happens with this box. Um, so here we go. Yeah, and I'm and I'm anxious to open these. So I'm I am not going to do the pack by pack, you know, individual video thing. I'm just going to do the whole thing. Um, it, it took me like uh, 40 minutes to get through the first box. Um, I don't know if this will go faster or slower. It's going to kind of depend on what we see and what kind of tangents I go on. Um, but okay. Let's go. Nimble Hobbit. So this is the scroll um, showcase format. Um, Hithlin Knotts. Uh, Gandalf, Friend of the Shire. So the Uncommon. Um, Gimli, Counter of Kills, Uncommon. So we're pretty much getting two commons, two uncommons. Then we get into the foils and there's like two uh, commons, a Generous Ent. And a soldier of the gray host. And then there's two uncommons. So Dunedain Rangers and Gollum's Bite. Now for the uh, for the lands and the tokens uh, in the collector in these new special edition collector backs, um, they have like the surge foil on them. So let's see, here's a forest with the surge foil. Okay, so then we get into the rares and mythics and, and other kind of special cards. Uh, so the first rare or mythic is Mines of Moria. So this is, um, you know, in the scroll showcase. Um, then you get, here's a foil um, rare mythic. So the Balrog Durin's Bane in that format. I got a borderless card here, Call Forth the Tempest. Um, so I don't know if this is a scene card or just a just a borderless card um because i haven't like looked at what's in the scenes 
Um, so here's file of Galadriel in showcase. Uh, Buckleberry Ferry in, um, I mean, in, in showcase. File of Galadriel in surge foil. Um, and similarly, the Buckleberry Ferry um, in surge foil. So it's either borderless or extended. I think it's borderless surge foil, but <laughs> myriad landscape, uh, borderless, uncommon. And then see down to the, the tokens are getting the surge foil treatment here as well. So orc army and food. Rush the room. Grey Haven's Navigator. Then Mirror of Galadriel. So got, got the same pattern. Two commons, two uncommons, Golem Patient Plotter. And then um, a common foil breaking the fellowship, many partings. And then the uncommon uh, foils, Elrond, the Lord of Rivendell. And quick beam upstart Ent. And we have a mountain as our surge foil. And uh, Gandalf the Grey is our standard rare or mythic in the scroll. Um, our, our foil scroll rare or mythic is Gloin. Okay, and here we have Nazgul Battle Mace, which I got in my last box as well. And I think that this is, um, well, it's got the symbol of being from the commander set. Um, and I think that this is part of one of the scenes. It definitely looks like it belongs as a scene card. Ooh. The One Ring Extended Art Surge Foil. That's got to be good. Uh Elrond, Master of Healing. So here we have a showcase from the original set, but now it's in a surge foil. So that's what's different. This is distinguishes it from the first set, you know, for the main release. Um, Elvish, Elvish Harbinger. Um, and this is also looks like it's got the commander symbol on it. Um, and I think it may, it may be one of the scene cards, but I'm not positive. Um, who knows, but there it is. And a food, and another some another of that same token. Um, yes, I'm very interested in what that one ring is going for. <laughs> See, in my first box, I got the poster version of it, not in foil, but um, that was also like an exciting card. So, uh, slip on the ring. Uh, Nimrodel Watcher. Ugluk of the White Hand. Uh, fiery Inscription. Then we have Rush the Room. So now we're into the into the foils. Uh, Bombadil's Song. A Reprieve. This uncommon foil. Uh, Gandalf's Sanction. Is also an uncommon foil, and it's a swamp this time as our surge foil uh, land. Trap the trespassers. That's our first rare. Um, Shelob, child of Ungoliant, in foil. Uh, Legolas, Legolas's quick reflexes. Um, that looks suspiciously like it belongs um in a scene so i don't you know maybe it's in one of those scene card boxes um elven chorus in surge foil elrond um lord of rivendell so this is in surge foil so it's an uncommon but it's in the old showcase format or sigil format or whatever they want to call it um, and here's a poster card. Um, Sauron Dark Lord. So 
you know, they're, they're, they're a bit hard to read, but they're very intricate and cool looking. Um, food, an orc army, and the surge foil. Troll of Kazadum. Woe's Pathfinder. Shire Sheriff. And Tale of Tenuviel. So then for our foils in the scroll format, scroll showcase, uh, Treason of Isengard. A Great Hall of the Citadel. Grand the Gatebreaker. Uh, the Bath Song. And the Plains is our Surge Foil Land. Uh, Wind Swift Slice is a scroll rare. We have the Foil Scroll Showcase of uh, Arwen, Mortal Queen. Uh, Galadrim Brigade. So, yeah, so that's commander and you know maybe maybe that's a scene card too um i think that may be a scene card slot but i don't know if it's consistent or not uh rangers of athelion so we have a surge foil of that uh mordor on the march in surge foil so exile a creature card from your graveyard create a token that's a copy of it it gains haste until the end of turn, exile at the beginning of the next end step, and it's Storm. Hmm. And it's red and black. I, I wonder what uh, Empress Quinn thinks of this card. Um, Explore. So this is a uncommon, but that's a nice uh, way to get some potential ramp going. Um, food and an orc army. So good. Now for Wrath, now for Ruin. Shire Scarecrow. Marriott Brandybuck. Gorbag of Minas Morgul. Uh, into the Foils, Arwen's Gift. Rohirrim Lancer. Frodo Baggins. And Fear Fire Foes with a Plains as the Surge Foil map land. Uh, Rapacious Guest is the first rare. Um, there's a Foil of Oath of Jarl. Uh, Ramas Ekor Ancient Shield. So I think this is... Uh, it's got the commander, so I think it's, uh, I think this is a scene card. So I think there is a dedicated scene card, and it's just me not recognizing one way or the other. I think the clue part of it is that it's a commander card that may be keeping the scene cards, or at least some of the scene cards, separate um, from standard. Uh, Lobelia Sackville Baggins in Surge Foil, um, Extended Art. Uh, Fell Beast's Shriek in Surge Foil, Borderless. And Soul's Attendant in uh, Borderless Foil. And Food in Surge Foil with a Smog in Surge Foil on the back. Okay, our final pack of the first stack. Okay, Deceive the Messenger. Swarming of Moria. 
uh, Bill Fernie Bree Swindler, uh, Butterbur Bree Innkeeper, Nimble Hobbit, this went to the foils, uh, Cast Into Fire, Bitter Downfall, and Glorfindal Dar Dauntless Rescuer, and Swamp Surge Foil this time around. Uh, Sildur's Fateful Strike is the rare um, Lobelia Defender of Bag End uh, in foil. Uh, another Fell Beast Shriek. This one's just borderless. Doors of Durin in Surge Foil Extended Art. Uh, Faramir Field Commander. So, uncommon um, old showcase, but surge foil. Uh, Treebeard, eldest of Ents, which is Doran the siege, siege Tower, essentially. So, we have this in borderless foil. Uh, food and a human soldier in surge foil. Okay, moving on to the last six packs. Took Reaper, Fire of Orthanc, the March from the Black Gate, Saruman's Trickery, okay, into the foils, Quarrel's End, Inherited Envelope, a long list of Ents, and Prince Emerhill the Fair. Uh, planes. Shadow of the Enemy as the regular rare. Um, here's a Bilbo Birthday Celebrant in foil. Uh, Rohirrim Chargers, uh, so that we, we may be in um, scene card territory there. Uh, Lotho Corrupt Sheriff in Extended Art Surge Foil. Uh, Marriaduck, Randybuck, in a Surge Foil with the old showcase. Theoden Strength Restored, which is Kenrith the Returned King. So, Donnie. Johnny needs or has that card. <laughs> um, food and spirit. Yeah, so Donnie of Filthy MTG Casuals has a Kenrith deck. Um, or no. I. I assume he has a Kenrith deck. It's really Darien that he's known for. So uh, I may be wrong. Uh, Bewitching Leechcraft. Enraged Huarn. Uh, Eowyn, Lady of Rohan. Uh, friendly Rivalry. Uh, foils, Improvised Club. Mirror Mirror Guardian, uh, Horses of the Bruinen, and Urkenbrand, Lord of Westfold. We have an Island Surge Foil. Rivendell is the first rare. Uh, the Battle of Bywater is in foil. Galadriel's Dismissal. So target card phases out. If this spell was kicked. Each creature target player controls phases out instead. Goldberry River Daughter in Extended Art Surge Foil. Um, 
Hennis Anyun. I, I have no idea if I pronounced that right. Uh, this is a reskin of Reflecting Pool. So um, tap, add one mana of any type that a land you control can produce. Attempt with Discovery. And Borderless. And a food. And an Orc Army. Yeah, so I'm seeing some cards here that I haven't I haven't seen from my f opening the first you know the first release, and I don't know if it's because they're new cards in this set or if it's just because I, by luck I didn't get I didn't get the, get them in the first go round. Um, East Mark Cavalier, Wizards Rockets, Emer of the Rittermark. Rangers Firebrand. Okay, into the foils. Revive the Shire. Rohirrim Alencer. Peregrine Took. And a Nazgul. A swamp. And the Surge Foil. Uh, Riders of Rohan. Summons of Saruman, foil. Aragorn Hornburg Hero. So, attacking creatures you control have First Strike and Renown. So when creatures with Renown... Um, okay, it's got Renown 1. So... Um, Creatures with Renown 1 deal combat damage to a player. Um, okay, got it. When a creature with Renown 1 deals combat damage to a player, um, if it isn't... Oh, if it isn't renowned, put a plus one plus one counter on it, and it becomes renowned. Um, okay, I, I was mixing renowned with removed, kind of, and it didn't make sense. Um, so whenever a renowned creature you control deals combat damage to a player, uh, double the number of plus one plus one counters on it. Okay. Yeah, so there's a chance for a lot of doubling going on if you're if you're going wide with some creatures with this guy out. I I don't know if this is new or not. It looks like it might maybe this is a, a scene card. Ooh. Delighted Halfling in the Surge Foil extended art. That's kind of cool. Uh Frodo Baggins in Surge Foil. Ooh. Uh, Tower of Sirith Ungol, which is Urborg. Legendary land. Tap, add black. Target creature loses first strike or swamp walk until... Oh, it's not what I thought it was. Um... So it's just Urborg. Um, it's not the Urborg Tomb of Yogmoth, just plain Urborg. Uh, food and smog. Surge foil. Cast into the fire. Nasty End, Quick Beam Upstart Ent, Bitter Downfall, Bang to the Foils, uh, Took Reaper, Battle Scarred Goblin, Goblin Fire Leaper, 
Saruman the White with a mountain surge foil. Uh, Mary, Esquire of Rohan, that's a rare. Aragorn, King of Gondor in scroll showcase foil. Uh, Aloran Searing Light. So this looks like it may be um, a scene card. Um, each opponent exiles a creature with the greatest power among creatures that player controls. And then it has spell mastery. If there are two or more incident or sorcery cards in your graveyard, a lore and searing light deals damage to each opponent equal to the power of the creature they exiled. Sloron's Ransom in Surge Extended Art Surge Foil. Uh, Samwise the Stout Hearted in the original um, showcase, but in Surge Foil. Palantir of Orthanc is the second um, poster card. And a food and a tentacle as the surge foil token so i'm going to get them near the top here uh, just so i remember I mean, we we already have a one ring in Surge Foil Extended Art. Um, we have a Sauron and a Palantir as our poster cards. Um, now, I got two poster cards in the other box. Uh, one of them was like a borderless foil poster card. Um, and then one was regular. So I don't know if I've uh, missed out on the chance that a foil one in this box. And, you know, it's just I got two and one of them happened to be foil in, in the other box. It's kind of hard to know what the pull rate is going to be on things. Um, Mushroom Watchdogs. Hobbit's Sting. Shortcut to Mushrooms. And Bill a Pony. Okay, into the foils, uh, Nimrodel Watcher, uh, Banish from Edoras, and Draft Basin, and Bilbo Retired Burglar, with an island a surge foil. A Gimli of the Glittering Caves in, in the scroll showcase, uh, the foil scroll showcase rare is... Uh, uh, Fall of Care Andros. Courageous Resolve. Um, looks like that may be a um, scene card. Um, yep. Yeah. Uh, Isildur's Fateful Strike. So we got Extended Art and Surge Foil. Uh, Fell Beast of Mordor. And. Um, Borderless Surge Foil. Mm. Yep. And Myriad Landscape. And Foil. Borderless. Food and a Treasure. Okay, we're down to the last pack here. Smite the Deathless, Font of the Dead Marshes, Strider, Ranger of the North, Gift of Strands, Foils, uh, Stalwarts of Osgiliath, Surrounded by Orcs, 
Shadowfax, Lord of Horses. And build a pony in foil. With a forest in the surge foil. Um, the Restor of the Council is the first rare. Uh, the Gaffer as um, just the scroll showcase foil. Uh, Minas Tirith Garrison. Um, you know, whether that is... Uh, it's an extended art card. I don't know. Um, so maybe it's not a scene card, and it's just an extend, extended art card. Um, Moria Marauder in Surge Foil. Gollum Patient Plotter in Surge Foil. Okay, so we I did get another... Um, I got a Palantir. Um, and this one is in the foil. So another Palantir, which is, which is a good card. I, I like the card. Um, so food and a human soldier. Um, now, I mean, these, I definitely want to, want to look up. Okay. Let's look up the Palantirs first. So the Palantir of Orthanc. So there's a so there's a borderless poster and a borderless poster foil. So um the the plain one is 25 um and the foil one is 45 so like you know 60 60 to 70 dollars of value there um Uh, Sauron, Sauron, the Dark Lord Borderless poster is $23.99. Okay, so still like, you know, like 20, so 70, 80, 90 there. Um, the one ring. The one ring extended art surge foil is like a hundred to hundred twenty. So I don't think I can complain. Um, there's other cool stuff in here. Um, I think I've arrived at the conclusion that it looks like there is a slot in, or, or most of the time there's a slot for a potential scene card. Um, we have all these um, scroll um, showcase versions um, for most of the cards. Um, and then there's some Borderless cards, which I'm not sure so if they're all scene cards or not. Um, there are some of them that are come. There's some borderless cards that are coming through as foils. Um, I don't know if there were um, there are extended arts that are coming out as um, surge foil, and there were surge foils for some other format formats. Um, but then there's the posters, which are going to be foil or non-foil. Um, and they're the harder ones to get in a box. So I only got unless one stuck and I missed it in the first box. Um, I only got two out of the first box. I got three out of this box. Um, 
and in both boxes I got a foil. Um, and in both boxes I got the one ring. So uh, the other one was just the regular poster version of it. And now I've got a, a fancy um, surge foil version of it. So pretty sweet. Um, so yeah, it's, 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 it's fun opening these, I, you know, overall, um, yeah, I've got to look up my costs to see how much, you know, kind of like return on value I'm getting for just having cracked through the whole box. Um, but it was fun. Um, there's neat stuff to see. Um, I think I'll know more, I'll know more how to judge the, um, the scene cards uh, once I open the actual scene boxes so I see them in context. Um, and I, I know that some of them are new cards um, so that weren't there for the first release. Um, so they'll be interesting to see and I'll have to check the values on them to see um, whether a premium is getting, being given to them for that or whether the fact that they're just selling these scene boxes depends on what the supply is of those um, as to like how many are going to be on the market and how that's going to affect the price. Who, who knows? Um, but yeah, and there's also the jumpstart boxes, which are another black box to me. I don't know what's going to come out of those. So still more fun stuff to see. Uh, hope to catch.